Well, hello, hello, YouTube. A little behind schedule. Uh, life more than got in the way for a while. But if you look behind me, there's my table. There's, there's the trains. There's the train table in my basement. Almost all back together. As you saw by the brief montage, you saw me disassembling stuff. Some of the footage actually got lost because my phone is uh, dumb. We'll just go with that. But now that I have the trains moved over to their new home, we'll start getting it set back up. And the videos should start flowing. As for what's coming up with the channel, obviously I got to get my train table set up. There's going to be a second little portion of train table here that will eventually get tied into the main one. I've got to set up a uh, filming setup down here and a filming setup upstairs at my workbench. I'm going to take you up to the workbench real quick and kind of quickly discuss a backdoor uh, prototype that's going to end up being a similar setup on my layup for sound effects. Um, but I have it mocked up for something for a different project at the moment, so I'll give you a quick sneak peek of that. Uh, good to be back. Videos should start flowing out, hopefully uh, once a week or once every two weeks, depending on uh, how busy I am. I'm still in busy season for my work. So, gonna turn the camera off, and I'll see you guys upstairs real quick. So, like I said, I was gonna talk to you about... Uh, What's eventually going to end up on my layout? This is a little soundboard, sound effects board made by a company called Adafruit. Um, it's only like 20 bucks. Directs, plugs directly onto your computer. This one happens to have 16 megabytes of memory on it, which is plenty for some WAV files. If you look down here on the uh, 0 through 10 pins, that's actually how your sounds are triggered. Um, they'll eventually get triggered by uh, some push button switches. This particular project is for my uh, truck and not my train table. But this is set up and working. It'll give you an idea of what I can do. This particular one is hooked up to a PA speaker horn. And 100 watt amp because it's going in my truck but you can load any kind of sounds on it you want let me turn the sound down so I don't uh... and I actually have a train horn on here you have made me very angry that's, that's not my train horn uh, <laughs> nope that's not it Knew one of them was a train horn. Be quiet, R2. But basically, with this setup, this little card, and a handful of other accessories, which will be covered in a later video and a couple of strategically placed buttons you can put some sound effects all over uh, certain parts of your layout but that'll be in a, a future video anyhow I think that's all I got for today so I will see you guys in a future video